Hi everyone. As you know, it is no longer possible to download Sentinel images from the Copernicus website. And the download of Sentinel images has been moved to the Copernicus Data Space Ecosystem website. For this purpose, we intend to show you how to use this website to download Sentinel images. When you go to the Copernicus website, you will see a message indicating that this website has been transferred to the Copernicus Data Space Ecosystem site. A link has been placed here which directs us to the Copernicus Data Space website. By clicking on it we enter to the Copernicus Data Space Ecosystem website. There are brief explanations about the use of this website on the main page of the website, you can see each by dragging. This website provides users with a series of excellent features to display and visualize Sentinel images. And you can easily download the images. We get back to the main section and find the login option to click on. If you have not created an account, you can create an account by clicking on the register option. As you can see it says here that you can create a new account in 60 seconds. After creating an account, log in to the website using your username and password. By logging in we enter a new page, on this page we see the borders of all countries that are marked using a more colorful line. And inside these bold lines, we see lighter lines that indicate the provinces of a country. By zooming on the map, you can see all kinds of car route lines. From the layer section, you can display the types of layers you want and view the study area based on it. It bolds the layers in other words. Here water bodies can be seen. And so are roads lines. And finally borders lines. In the next section next to the layers, it gives an option that allow us to upload a file to the website. Here it shows various types of files formats to import. You can also determine your area using the coordinate system. There are different ways to specify your desired area. You can also draw a polygon on your area. The area of the polygon is shown after drawing which is so helpful to precisely draw the polygon based on your area. Other useful tools have been placed on the website as well. One of the most useful tools is the measure tool, its icon is a ruler. Using this tool, you can calculate the area and length of your area. After specifying the study area, the most important part of the website is the visualize section which has been placed on the left side of the map. Here you can see the types of important layers by clicking. To reach these layers, you used to need to download and spend a lot of time. But now you can easily see all these layers and even compare with each other. By clicking on each layer, the specifications and complete information of that layer can be seen along with the guide. And finally, you can create your own band composition. By clicking the Add to option, you can see a series of other features, such as creating a time lapse or comparing images. After selecting two or more layers, go to the image comparison section. You can compare images here.
and by clicking the Add to Time Lapse option, you can create a time lapse animation. You can delete images that do not overlap completely or have a high percentage of cloud coverage. You can also apply a filter on the images with the overlay option. You can specify the time lapse date. You can also determine the amount of cloud cover. You can apply a series of other filters based on your needs on the output images. You can increase or decrease the speed of the time lapse. If the images have problems, you can delete them. And another feature of this website is 3D display. In the search section, you can specify your data sources. Each of the data sources has a series of filters. By clicking on the search option, all the images will be identified. You can choose and download the image you want based on your needs. You can easily download all images of Sentinel-1, Sentinel-2, Sentinel-3 and Sentinel-5 on this website. Also, you can apply the filters you want to the images of Sentinel-1 and view this image. As you can see, the outputs of Sentinel-1 are given here and you can see them by clicking on each one and compare with each other.
In future videos, we will produce a dedicated video for each of the data sources. If you have any questions, leave a comment.